Hello everyone, my name is Jin Wei Song, and I'm a postdoc researcher at the University of Michigan. Today, I would like to share with you our recent work, that is Bayesian Dense Inverse Searching Algorithm for Real-Time Stereo Matching in Minimally Invasive Surgery. Real-time 3D tissue surface shape recovery from stereo images is important in computer-assisted intervention. The, the reconstructed depth is a crucial for visualization, SLAM, AR, and disease diagnosis. We aim at a CPU-level prior-free real-time stereo matching technique because first, GPU is occupied for other tasks like detection, segmentation, reconstruction, and disease diagnosis. Second, deep neural network-based methods require labeled training data which is extremely difficult to obtain. The stereo matching techniques can be classified into two categories, prior-free and learning-based. Among the prior-free methods, ELAS, efficient large-scale stereo, is the most robust algorithm, and thus it is widely used in the community and industry. ELAS on CPU end requires around a 0.2 to one second on a single modern CPU core. Thus, the goal of this paper is a real-time CPU-based algorithm and more accurate than ELAS. Our work is based on Dense Inverse Searching Algorithm, DIS, which achieves real-time implementation. The key of DIS is its disparity searching algorithm, that is the Lucas Kanad. Fast LK. Fast LK helps achieving the real time patch wise disparity searching. This is the diagram of DIS. The disparity is estimated with a fast LK algorithm on one scale level. A fusion algorithm is applied to fuse all patches. Then the estimated disparity is passed to initialize the patch on a final level. The finest scale disparity is the output of DIS. However, DIS or fast LK cannot be directly applied in surgical scenarios for three reasons. First, textureless surface and dark illumination in MIS lower the contrast and increase the blurriness of the obtained stereo images. Thus, fast LK has a higher risk of wrong prediction or falling into a local minimum. As the two examples shows, the residues are both small, but the stereo matching on the textureless surface, the red one, is much less reliable. Second, the photometric consistency presumption is also seriously violated on the surface affected heavily by the non lambertian reflectance. Ambiguities arise when the photometric consistency assumption is violated. For example, at the intensive reflection or very dark pixels. Third, dark regions also bring challenges for stereo matching. Our idea is to convert the deterministic disparity into probabilistic disparity, that is, quantify the confidence of the estimated disparity. A small window of perturbation is enforced on the estimated disparity for a specific patch. As the figure shows, different responses pattern within the window shows different posterior disparity. Translating the idea into equations, we have the above probabilistic uncertainty quantification formulation for each patch. The right block is the posterior disparity with the above perturbation window. This is from the authentic conditioned random field. The left block is the Gaussian mixture model to quantify the pixel-wise uncertainty within each patch. Please refer to the paper for detailed deduction. The diagram shows the framework of our proposed BDIS. It uses three scale levels as an example. The parallax of the patch 
is initialized with the predictions from the last level, the fast LK algorithm is applied to estimate the patchwise disparity. Then our GMM and CRF algorithms are used to yield the probability of the patch in the current scale, as well as the probability propagated from the last level. Finally, the predictions from the batch patches are fused by addressing the predicted probabilities. Our further works also quantify the variance based on the Gaussian distribution assumptions. It is optional and does not work for all data sets because the assumption is not always valid. Please refer to the full journal paper for more details. The proposed DDIS is compared with the prior free ELAS, DIS, and SGBM, prior based algorithms. GWC net and PSM net is also, are also tested for completeness. Please note that DNN based methods are dependent on the training data, and our conclusion is for reference only. Besides, the prior free and the prior based methods are for different scenarios. The left tables show the comparisons of the, the, pro, the proposed method on synthetic data sets and the in vivo data sets. The synthetic data sets strictly guarantees the accuracy of the camera parameters. The in vivo data set is collected with the Da Vinci robot and with restructured light as the ground truth. The accuracy is represented with the average mean and median error. The valid depth pixels indicates how many pixels can be produced by all the candidate algorithms. Results show that our BDIS is more accurate than ELAS and produces more valid predictions. The right table records the time consumption of all the algorithms. Prior free methods run on a modern CPU. The prior based methods are tested on NVIDIA 101050Ti. Our method achieves around 14 to 17 Hertz on a 640 by 480 images, which is the fastest algorithm. The figure shows the sample reconstruction results on the synthetic data sets. The figure show the sample reconstructions on the in vivo data sets, the leftmost column is the ground truth depth. The rightmost column is the error map in millimeter. Our method achieves satisfying results comparing with ELAS. DIS is the deterministic method without uncertainty quantification. As the figure shows, there are many outliers and errors in this algorithm. In conclusion, we have four major contributions. First, our BDIS, is the first single core CPU-based stereo matching approach that achieves slightly better performance than the near real-time ELAS. Second, a probabilistic formulation is proposed to handle the challenges caused by textualist surfaces, non-numbersion reflectance, and dark illumination. Third, a Gaussian mixture model is introduced to quantify the pixel-wise uncertainty. Lastly, we provide code and the synthetic stereo images with depth for the community. Please come to our poster and scan the code for our demo video and the code. Please watch this video and thank you very much.